Today we'll look at a powerful new feature of Google Docs, Insert a Chart, which is easily updated with a single click. This is another flipped classroom tutorials. Welcome to our Google Doc. Now, in order for me to insert a chart into this document, I will first have to click on Insert, and now I can select Chart. Now you will see that this has five options. The first is a bar chart, column chart, line chart, pie chart, and from sheets. Now I'm going to demonstrate all five so you can get a feel of what they look like. One powerful feature of this is that they can easily be updated. Once you've created a chart, a single click and you will update your chart with the most recent information from your sheet. So let's go and have a look at a bar chart. I am now going to insert a bar chart. As you can see I have my bar chart up here, points scored. Now I want to edit this. So when I select this chart, you will see that there is a unlink from Sheets, and I can open it in Sheets. Now I'm going to open in Sheets, and this has automatically created the sheet, so you can title this the same as your document. And I'm going to change this, so let's say that my chart is actually not period 1 and period 2, it is lesson 1 and 2, lesson 1, lesson 2, and let's say I want 4 lessons. So there you go, lesson 1, 2, 3, 4. And instead of Team 1, I'm going to change this into Student. Student 1, Student 2, 3, 4. And I'm going to keep all these random numbers, so I really don't mind having some random numbers. Now, when I select this chart, you will see that this is already a updated version of my new information. It says lesson 1, lesson 2, it says student 1, 2, 3, 4, and they all have scores. Now let's go back to my original document. This still says points scored, periods, and teams. You will have noticed that there is now an extra update button. This allows me to update my chart using the most recent information present in my sheets. So let's go ahead and click on update. And there we go, my chart has been updated. I can also change this and I can unlink. Now once this link is gone, I am no longer able to update my chart. So let's now go ahead and insert a second chart, which will be a different chart. Insert chart column. This is a column chart, very similar to bar chart. And this is, again, linked to a Sheets, which I can then, with one single click, open in Google Sheets. I can adjust this, so let's just do the same thing again. Let's change Team into Student. Student, and as I change this, you will see that the chart in Google Sheets is updating as we speak. Student 1, 2, 3, 4. Now to go back to my Google Doc, this still says Team 1, 2, 3, 4, and there is now an Update Chart button. Let's click this, and my chart has been updated. This has serious implications for education. This is a very powerful feature, which is now available within Google Docs. It is also possible to simply click on Chart and select Line or Pie Chart, or to start off from an existing sheet. Now you can click on From Sheets and then select any of your previously selected sheets. So I'm going to select the first sheet, which was a bar chart. This is the chart present within my sheet. Now if you have multiple charts, you will see them within this screen. I'm going to select this one and I'll make sure that it's linked. Import this chart. And this chart is now linked to my sheets. I hope this was helpful. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to leave a comment below, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.